All right, we're back with more Money Origami Originals. Today I've got this new box, and it's kind of hard to fold. But the reason I thought it would be cool is, well, and it's open-ended right now. I'll show you in a sec. But it doesn't squish or pull apart. And you can squish it in a little bit if you really try hard with a little tap, tap, tap. Or if you just fold it with it in further. But it's pretty darn big. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger than the uh, Matchbox, which uh, that's pretty cool. I'll put a link up there in the uh, tag, in the card. And, you know, this one's really cool. This one's way bigger. And then you've got the, uh, you've got the hinged box. You know, it's really the same size as that, except the end is open. But if you were to fold the end on this one, to where the end is open then you'd still be able to just pull it apart so I mean it is different and I wanted it to fit together a lot better when you make two of them and it's just not that great now I didn't finish this one yet because I want to show you the couple of cool things that you can actually do with this box that is pretty cool so it's um, I'm gonna call it the telescopic box now you can uh, you can slide that in but see how it kind of sticks out so we're gonna do something about that now you can put this inside And in this manner, it's the telescopic box. And you can put stuff in there, and then you can close it however far you need. And it stays together pretty good, but you're going to have to do one more little fold, which is folding the edge to the inside. The, the problem is it's really difficult to make one slightly smaller than the other. Because when you make the width smaller, that makes the sides taller. And it just throws the whole thing off. But since it's telescopic, you can fold it where the one that goes inside is slightly narrower. Than the outside one, and then therefore it would just slide together partially, which is really about how it was intended. You know, telescopic box, but now I, I had made it at first where the sides were much shorter, and then it's still the same width across. And I just think that it was kind of small, and it's a little bulky in the corners, and it still kind of is on the little, the shorter sides. So it took me a long time to get this out, but I figured uh, then I got this idea, and I folded it up tonight, where I could make the sides taller. And so now here's the video, right? <laughs> But it really is very similar to the big old bag of money, big E bag of money. Or if you fold it with George out, I call it the bank one. And this thing, you can put dimes in right here. You have to watch that video up there. I'll put all three of those links up there in the uh, cards. 
where you hover over the video and then you click up in the upper right corner. You can put dimes in here and then they don't come out. Let's see, just the way that it's folded. So, then what you can also do is if you really want to make a solid gift box and you've got something you know, more important than the $2 to put inside, then you can fold this outer edge to the outside, which we're going to try to do. And then when you slip it together, it locks against the edge on the inside, and it doesn't come open. <laughs> so that would be fun. Or you can, uh, like I said, use it like this, or you can tuck that edge in, and you can just make the box slightly narrower in the front so that it slides in here easily. For your telescopic box. Alright. So, what you do is you watch the big old bag of money, big E bag of money, it's called both names, up there. And you do these, you make the middle width, and you make the uh, sides fold up together. And we'll go over that just a little bit, but that way we don't fold the whole thing, because it really, it's already all in that video. All right, I'm going to take a break for just a little bit. Got to get something to drink. 